Top of the morning, Western Slope, and happy spring. I'm meteorologist Barrett Vince, and we're seeing the vernal equinox for today. So let's go ahead and break it down. We have the Earth being tilted at 23.5 degrees on this plane. This is actually what gives us the different seasons as we get more sunlight in the summer longer days because we have this tilt of the earth and it allows us to get more sunlight in the northern hemisphere along the summer months and the opposite in the winter months. And then as we're on that trip around the sun, we're going to be getting uh, right in the middle today as we're going to be seeing all that sunlight kind of hit the earth right at the equator. That is going to give us about a 12 hour period for the day and a 12 hour period for the night. Hence the spring or vernal equinox. Vernal is just another word for spring. Eh, it's kind of fun to say, I don't know. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump right in. We're going to be seeing this low pressure over uh, the state of Arizona, New Mexico, continue to track further to the east for today. We're going to be seeing the effects of this low pressure continuing to move to the east by a little bit of cloud coverage that's going to move in with uh, that system. Besides that, though, we won't be seeing chances for showers. There's not a whole lot of moisture associated with this system. So as we track this further to the east, we're going to be clearing up slightly. But overall, this is going to be bringing some clouds in the sky for tonight. As we are waking up, though, we're going to be seeing clear skies. And this is going to be the case throughout the day today. We're not going to be as clear as yesterday, but we will be seeing plenty of sunshine and this is going to help increase those temperatures. We're at 37 degrees right now with a 10 mile an hour wind, but we're going to be seeing these winds calm down throughout the afternoon. They're expected to move around five miles an hour for today with a nice breeze with some really nice temperatures. We're warming up from here. We're in the 30s right now, but we're going to be gradually approaching those highs in the mid 60s by this afternoon and we're looking clear on the radar this morning. We're not going to be watching out for chances for showers. Like I said, mostly just some of those clouds rolling on in in the overnight hours for tonight. And then as we get into tomorrow, we'll clear up again before we see some more clouds roll in in the nighttime hours. We're going to eventually see a cold front move through. This is going to be dropping temperatures as we get into Sunday. So Saturday, we're going to be right around those 60s and close to 70 degree temperatures with a 10 degree drop as we see the effects of that cold front raising concerns for showers with a 50% chance forecasted right now. But this is still pretty far out. So we'll give you more updates on this throughout the week and let you know if anything changes. We're in the 60s here in Grand Junction, 64 in Delta, mid to upper 50s everywhere else. Really nice spring-like conditions today and then tonight getting down to above freezing temperatures in the overnight hours and then warming up again tomorrow as we're on this warming trend getting into the 60s for tomorrow again. A little bit warmer temperatures as well as we take a look ahead at that Discovery Auto seven day forecast. We're in the mid 60s, warming up to the 70s on Saturday. And there's that dip in temperature on Sunday to the 50s with a 50% chance of showers. Montrose is slightly cooler, remaining in the upper 50s and then 60s as we get into tomorrow. So really nice spring-like conditions on the way this week.